So we're all we're all good. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna start. We're gonna start from the beginning, so I kind of get an idea of the mm -hmm. pacing and all that stuff. So yeah. we're good. Yeah. So just so you guys know, this is for Wood actually. Is he gonna be editing this? Yes, he will. Hugs and kisses for you, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to New Games Respawn for the week of Wednesday, March 21st. My name is Hutch. And my name is Ian Anders. And before we get into this, what have you been playing this week, sir? Uh, I have been playing Gotham City Imposters. That game is amazing. I saw you playing that game for like three or four hours last night. Yeah, I played till 2 o'clock in the morning. The game came out like three weeks ago. Why are you, why it's you just now getting it, on it now? I don't Son. know. It's it's very simple. It's very... Uh, I like that they keep things very basic. It's kind of like, uh, like Brink, a little bit of... Uh, what you got going on there? A little bit there. of TF2. TF2. A little bit of... Uh, uh, Warhammer. I don't know why that is, but... A little bit, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I get that it's a got lot. got the third person thing going on. Yeah. I love that game. I'm still playing COD. I've been Are you playing anything on PC yet? No. Oh. It's a sore subject for a lot of people. So don't mention that <laughs> online because people will be mad. Mm. So you want to jump into these games? Sure. Here, yep. All right, so the first game that's coming out this week is Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. It's a third person shooter. You guys have probably seen a lot about this game at this point. Uh, it is set around the same time as Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, and the two Resident Evil Outbreak titles. You're supposed to be looking over here. <laughs> no, 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 you're, you're doing good. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Players will take the role of either an officer of the Umbrella Security Service or the United States Special Operations Force. Operation Raccoon City will also offer four player cooperative gameplay, and it's co developed by Slant Six Games and Capcom. Um, this is for 360 and PS3. Did you play this yet? You played it at E3, didn't you? Mm, no, they made me work, so I didn't play games. Son of a bitch. Yeah, real You fun. will be playing this game, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be playing it, uh, yeah, I guess it comes out uh, on Tuesday, but unfortunately, it doesn't come out for PC until two months later which is unfortunate because I'd like to play it on PC. That is strange. So. I have no idea why they're doing that. Why would they do that? No idea. They hate me. You got the second game here? Yeah, here we oh. go. Paper stacking. Let's do it at the same time. Hold on, put same it down. Same time, okay. Okay, Yeah. one, two, three. I already messed it up. God damn it. I'm really not good okay. at this. Let's try it one more time. Can I talk about Ninja? Can I talk go about? Go ahead, fine. I'm here to talk about Ninja Gaiden <clears throat> 3. Is that good? Is this, am I doing this right? Yep. You want to look right into that okay. motherfucker right okay. there. Okay. So yeah. Ninja Gaiden is. Why are they talking? They're talking. Am I, I doing what something? They're saying. Am I doing it right or wrong? Oh, they're He's telling me to stop. Is that a good turn? Is this a good? Is, I start from here and I go like this. Is this good? And then I do the paper thing. You're looking at me like I don't know what I'm doing, and it's really not helping me right now. Can you? Am I good? You're good. Man. Okay. Here There's I go. Shit. So here's the third. Oh shit, I already messed it up. Here's the, here's the second game, Ninja Gaiden 3. Not 2, 3, because it's really new and you're gonna like it. This is an action-adventure video game sequel to Ninja Gaiden 2, like I just said. Is this good? First title in the series, not to be directed by the friend. By the franchise? I, I don't know. I don't know if I can read this good. Tom, Tom, Tom. Tomonobu. Tomonobu. Itagaki. Iri, Iri, uh, Itagaki. Itagaki. Replaced by... Yushu. Yosuke Hayashi. Good, that was really good. Thanks. There's another name, can you read it for me? Ryu, Ryu? Ha Ryu Hayabusa Busa. Returns as the main character. Because I've played this game and I know what I'm talking about. I'm really not doing this. Do you want to this game will explore the more human side. Uh, it will feature uh, new mechanics and changes. Taking a slightly different approach with a difficulty level. Uh, no T no I can't <laughs> I can't do this when I read it. Why do we give me the game with all the things that are difficult to pronounce? <laughs> is that really a good idea? Do we not remember Respawn uh, I don't know. inbox? No? You can talk to our okay. producer Swing. So this is going to be on Xbox 360 and PS3. Next game is Armored Core 5. This is a 3D mech-based simulation, and it's a third-person shooter game. You gotta turn, you're doing good with the turns. <laughs> I do really bad at the turns, but no, 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 no. You, you got feel the... awesome when you turn. Really? I do. Oh. Uh, this is the fifth main installment in the Armored Core series. The game will rely more on tactics and using the geography of the level. More than 500 unique opponents to upgrade and customize, multiplayer with teams of up to 20 players, and will feature a ranking system. It's for PS3 and Xbox 360. Developed by From Software, published by Namco Bandai. You, you did, got the next you one. You did that really nice. That's how you read it, son. Are you ready for me to mess up the next one? Yep. 
Here comes the next, oh, I can't mess up this. This is gonna be good. So the next game is Connect Rush. This is a Disney Pixar adventure. Uh, this is going to be a fast-paced adventure that has you solving puzzles and uncovering hidden secrets. Uh, experience the worlds of five distant, this is so silly. <laughs> You're going, you're going to experience the worlds of five different Disney Pixar films. By the way, can you hear them? Because this is super distracting. Such as The Incredibles, my favorite, Up, Cars, Toy Story, and Ratatouille. Now this is a Kinect game that allows you to scan yourself into the game and become a... That doesn't sound, like that sounds super dangerous. Apparently you enter the game like Tron and you can play within... I don't want to play this. Well, I don't want to... Can I... Can I say I don't want to play this game? Is that okay? Sure. I don't want to play this game. It sounds threatening. I don't like it at all. For the Xbox 360. Boom. Uh, moving on to the next game. This is Cinemora. It's a 2.5D uh, shoot 'em up game that mixes a classic shooter with contemporary presentation. So it's sort of like our type, but it's uh, with 3D models. Some Ikaruga going on there too, maybe. Did you play Ikaruga? What is, what is Ikaruga? The hardest game of all time. Is that a food item? I don't understand. No. It's no. the hardest game of all time. Oh, wow. I'm not even going to get into it. There's blue okay. and red beads. No, there's just red and black beads. It's insane. This isn't that. This is Cinemora. Uh, the player controls an airplane. Air the player controls an airplane. Yeah. And, uh, it's my kind of game. The player controls an airplane and battles waves of enemy. <laughs> there's over 60 weapon con configurations. The plane's primary weapons can be upgraded, and the players are equipped with, with a limited use, more powerful secondary weapon. Ooh, this game sounds awesome. I actually watched a little bit of uh, footage of oh, this Oh, is game. that the one with the 2.5 and it's sort of side-scroll? I just I wasn't listening to anything you just said, so. Features two difficulties, normal and insane, and it has a story mode and an arcade mode. That sounds great. You should play that and I'll watch you and not pay attention. So the next game is Angry Birds in Space. Apparently they've taken it to space and you can now play with bird. That sounds dangerous. Again, all these games sound dangerous. I don't think this makes any sense. Like, the laws of, of gravity now don't apply. Apparently this is a completely, are you not, am I not, am I not interesting you? Or is this not, is this, okay. No, I'm, just go. I'm gonna say the words now. This is really important. This is Angry Birds in Space, man. You keep saying Angry. Angry Birds. <laughs> <laughs> Angie Birds in Space. Like you're saying Angie Who wants to play Angie Birds in Space? <laughs> Birds. This guy wants to play Angie Birds in Space. So apparently this is a completely new game that is innovative. Uh, there are new gameplay uh, elements and mechanics. The game stage is no longer flat. Well, it's in space, so I guess that makes sense. Uh, instead, um, it comprises several different planets each of which has its own gravity that affects the trajectory of the birds after launch. This is getting complicated. I don't know if I'm gonna really understand this, this game. This game looks awesome. Uh, it looks cool. Looks like, uh, looks like uh, with the Mario in the... Da, da, da. Super Mario Galaxy. There you go, good job. Yeah. That's good. Okay, this is gonna feature 60 levels at launch. It's starting with a new bird, wait. This is going to feature 60 levels at launch, uh, starring new birds and using Okay, these, 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 these things are so, like, I'm not entirely sure how they don't just float off and die, and, like, don't, don't doesn't your, like, your, well, your, planets now. your lungs, like, they, they, they crystallize, you, like, remember Tim Robbins in that film, he was like, just go, just, you gotta go without me, because you don't have oxygen, and he was like, remember that movie? Tim Robbins? Or yeah, it was Tim, it was Tim Robbins. What movie was he that? He died, it was really sad. You about Armageddon? Um, no, it wasn't Tim Robbins. Not all movies in space are entitled Armageddon. The, there's planets in this game. So, they so have like I was saying previously before you interrupted me. That's oh, fine, good. Jesus Christ. It's gonna feature 60 levels uh, at launch and there's gonna be new birds and power-ups and it's gonna be fun and you're gonna play. It's gonna be on iOS, Android, PC, and Mac. Yes, sir. I can slam the paper too. There you go. Because I'm a professional you like you. It. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. Mm. Ow. Next game is Kid Icarus Uprising. This is for the Nintendo DS. This is the third game in the Kid Icarus series. It's the first since 1991's Kid Icarus of Myths and Monsters. Player takes the role of Pit, who must protect the land from the evil Medusa. Solo camp campaign, multiplayer cam... Yeah, you sound like me. <laughs> there's a solo campaign, a multiplayer mode allowing up to six players to square off in arena matches, uh, and there's an AR mode that lets players battle one another using specially designed AR cards. We did it, Nanners. We got through it. We struggled through this, <laughs> and... Uh, I hope that something there was helpful. It better be. Because if it's not, we have wasted your time. Tough shit. So, I'm putting my script down right now. Hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, hey. Scoop Jackson here, and I'm here to deliver the news. Scoop, we are actually out of time, so. I can know, I got a story. I know, thanks for coming by. We but don't. 
done with the show. Like you. Finito. At all. Don't say that. <laughs> we just... Scoop. Don't be like that. We gotta work together.